Hey everyone, this is Kevin, your Autograph Hound, and with this video, we are doing something a little different. Uh, first of all, you may notice I'm on camera. Most of the time, I'm not on camera because we're talking about the autographs themselves, and I rarely need to be on camera to do those sorts of videos. You know, we we want to focus usually on the autographs, the quality of the autographs, what the autographs mean to me, and maybe once in a while a little bit of, you know, autograph collecting and storing advice. It's very rare that autographs are in the news. So with today's video, we're doing two things that are unusual. First of all, we're going to be talking about an autograph I don't personally own. And secondly, we're going to be discussing politics, sort of, a little bit. This is not a political channel, and I don't really want it to be. But Donald Trump made the news, because when is he ever not making the news, in the autograph community, because a night or two ago, depending on when this video goes up, Trump went to, you know, survey the damage of Hurricane Laura. I believe it was called Laura. I See, I'm kind of tuning politics out for the most part. And he gave first responders autographs and said to sell it tonight on eBay, they could make $10,000. In fact, he even added that was why he wasn't personalizing the autographs because when you personalize an autograph it's not worth nearly as much which by the way is true now of course people had mixed reactions and on Twitter this was trending and it was trending because a lot of people are actually debating you know first of all the um, ethnics of making the night about him which he tends to do and then of course the discussion of the value so, like, you have Nancy Noco here saying, Trump, sell it tonight on eBay, $10,000. And she says, more like $10. Saw his autograph going for $16 and change on eBay. Pfft, so full of himself. And, um, uh, hashtag Tuck Frump, which is clever, I will admit, says, Trump seemed to imply his signature is worth thousands while signing autographs at briefing. Um, Mark Riffenberg, who's a blue check, said, disappointing that Trump is lying about how much his autograph goes for on eBay when we all know eBay is really for buying broken iPods, fixing them, and then selling them on eBay again. Although I do want to add, a lot of people do go to eBay to buy autographs, and there are definite things you want to keep an eye out for if you're one of these people. Now, Shava Narad says, the most any Trump signature is going for on eBay is $1,000 no bids. Others are by now at $35, not even close to 10k. Another scam and broken promise. So as you can see, a lot of people are doubting whether or not Donald Trump's signature is worth $10,000 on eBay. Now I do want to state up front that signatures of presidents tend to be worth a lot more than most signatures. Uh, there's a few reasons for this. One, um, unlike what Trump was doing, um, most presidents do not hand out autographs at events. It's actually considered a national security risk. And if you write a president a letter, you'll get a letter back from the right White House, but it will be a printed um, signature on the paper. It's not gonna be an actual signature, again, for security reasons. And of course, they're a president. And whether you like the man or not, Trump is officially one of the United States um, presidents. And there are some people who do collect presidential signatures and thus will pay lots of money to get a whole set. Now then, that said, is there truth to Trump's claim? Can you get his signature for $10,000 on eBay? Well, let's go to eBay. And let's just kind of look at this. So we're going to do a very basic search. Donald Trump. In fact, there it is. Autograph. In fact, let's go to Donald Trump collectible autographs. Let's just do that. Okay, so the first one we have is an original signature on card with quote that does have 16 bids plus about $8 shipping. 15 minutes are left on that one. Uh, you Here's a Donald Trump hat, but there's no signature on it. Uh, this says this is a genuine hand-signed Trump bill, $70. We have a signed 
MAGA hat here, $250, no bids. Um, here he signed a baseball, apparently. And by the way, we're just going to assume for argument's sake that all of these are real. There's a good chance some of these aren't real, and that might all... I'm going to use that to kind of explain why some of the autographs might be low. Um, so that has 21 bids. Now that looks fairly authentic because when you look at enough of these Donald Trump autographs, you can see certain characteristics. Now this one doesn't actually look like a Donald Trump autograph. It might be. Sometimes they sign things a little differently, but it doesn't look like one. And that's $122 with six bids. Um, here's one that's 140 you have this book that's listed for $439. There's no offers. Um, let's see. Now, this one's funny. Uh, this is actually... Let's look at this really quick, because this one's actually extremely funny. This is actually listed Donald Trump fake autograph. Make it worth more than a real autograph. And the bid is like a little more than... A little less than $20. Um, I'm actually... Uh, that's going to be interesting. Now, all this money is going to charities. Or, well, okay, 25 of the sale will benefit feeding. I actually think this is wrong, uh, personally. I believe that if this person is deliberately selling a fake autograph, even if they're being upfront about it, I think all the money should go to charity, personally. I think that sets a bad precedent, but whatever. Now, here's so here's the thing. Here's one that says $1,000. Um, but what's the difference between this? Well, this, um, is, uh, let's see here. Well, it claimed that this was, um, verified, like, up here, that MAGA hat proof. So, they're basically saying they have, like, a certificate of authenticity from Southwest Collect connection memorabilia. Now here's why some of the autographs might be worth differently. Like for example, um, this has been certified and it looks like like Beckett Grading Services. Like this Beckett Grading Services I believe is an actual autograph authenticator. These people certify signatures. And so Donald Trump signed an Obama birth certificate apparent birth certificate apparently and it was certified and so this is selling for twelve thousand dollars two viewed per hour I would not be surprised if this was um, being watched by people now that's why there's some there could be some differences for example uh, this one right here um, this says President Donald Trump auto original authentic autograph King of the United States it has 17 bids, $59, but here's the thing. There's no certificate of authenticity. You can't actually verify if he signed this. In fact, the reality is a lot of these signatures, like this one, this is a signed autograph, apparently, of a Playboy magazine. It's framed. It's a little less than $40, but 64 have been sold. Um, okay, well, this has copy signed, so I'm glad that they're being up front. Uh, this says pre-printed. Here's a $6 one, but again, they're being up front. It's pre-printed. But some of these are um, authenticated and some of them are not. If they have been uh, authenticated or if they have like a picture of him signing the actual item, they will usually ask a lot more money because that can be verified. But then you have things like this where it's like you can't verify that that's real. But look, it still has four bids. Um, you know, usually the presentation is half of the battle. You see people put it in glass cases. These things aren't always cheap. Uh, and they add an unnecessary expense if it is fake. So, I mean, $10,000 is probably... And let's actually do something interesting. Let's, um, let's sort this by the highest first. So this one, um, signed to parents, family, Donald Trump. This is selling for $100,000. And you have this book... But this is a special limited edition numbered. So this is this is definitely authenticated. Sixty thousand dollars it's selling for. Now one of the problems with this is that it's not auctioned. So if there are Donald Trump's autographs selling for more than ten thousand dollars, you probably will not see it. But like look at this one. This is a thirty-five thousand dollar autograph signed letter. 
Um, JSA, they are extremely reputable in the autograph collecting community. And there are 15 watchers, so this will probably sell at some point. Um, say, same thing here. Um, you have President Trump signed set of House Judiciary impeachment documents, a Beckett through certificate of authenticity. Now, this is a unique item. I'm not going to lie. I probably would not mind owning this item because this is a autographed first edition surviving at the top. As you can see, the cover has an imprint of his signature and inside you can have his actual signature for comparison's sake. That is really neat in my opinion. So I actually, it's probably not a stretch to say that some Donald Trump signatures do sell at 10,000 or more if you've got the right paperwork and the right verification, authentication. You know, a COA, you know, certificate of authenticity is not always a guarantee that it's real. I mean, if you're willing to fake a signature, you're willing to print out a piece of paper that says it's real. And again, I'm not going to get into the politics of whether or not it was appropriate for Trump to be doing this. Um, I've got, I there's mixed feelings about it. Some people say that's unpresidential because he made the day about him. And other people pointed out that he gave it to first responders, encouraged them to sell it on eBay, make some money. And hey, you know what? It's a nice gest gesture. They can probably get something for that autograph, something that they would not have had before. And he did that specifically for first responders. So it's... I don't know what side of the fence you're on, and again, I don't really want to get into the politics of it, but I think it's fair to say that a Donald Trump autograph is definitely worth something if it can be verified and certified and authenticated. If not, it can still be worth something, maybe not as much, but it could be. One more thing I do want to point out, um, and this, this might actually hurt the value more than anything, there's actually a lot of listings like let's go to 200 listings per page and let's go to the bottom if we can and four pages so uh <laughs> yeah at least there's probably around 800 listings of donald dump <laughs> donald dump donald trump signatures um, see, here's a unique, unique one um, signed on one of his. This is JSA certified and everything. It really depends on the certification of the signature. That's what it comes down to. So, anyway, that's going to be the end of this autograph hound episode. I mean, again, a little different than what we normally do. But then, how often is the autograph collecting world brought into the political discussion? So I just I had to comment on on this one. We'll go back to analyzing autographs I do have in the future. But I would like to know what you think about this and um, whether you think Trump should have done this or not. Do you think he overvalued his autograph? What would you pay for his autograph, or would you pay nothing at all? Is it is an autograph Donald Trump thing just something to use as toilet paper? I would like to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.